Good afternoon. I'm Erica Sargent. As we head into this Labor Day weekend, we're learning which workers in the Chicago area will next lose their jobs. CBS2 investigator Megan Hickey is digging into new numbers from the state, and Megan, the majority are permanent cuts. That's right, Erica. There was a large dip last month in mass layoff notices and plant closures, but we're learning that 97% of them impact the Chicagoland area. While the airline industry announced thousands of layoffs in July, the trickle down impact, particularly here in Chicago, continued in August. Two airline food service companies, Sky Chefs in Des Plaines and Flying Food Group in Schiller Park, announced a combined 400 plus permanent layoffs that will take effect on October 1st. The Lincolnshire Marriott Resort announced 240 permanent layoffs as of October 30th. Employment analyst Andy Challenger tells me there is a definite slowing of renewed layoffs. Some people are coming back into jobs that were immediately closed due to the COVID-19 crisis, but that doesn't mean that there's not still some destruction of jobs happening in the economy. We're soon seeing certain industries and certain jobs are still at very high risk. Chicago area locations for delivery service Scoobies and RR Donnelly are making large permanent cuts too. Perhaps the most surprising, Northfield-based Medline Industries announced 190 permanent layoffs at their Mundelein location beginning October 23rd. The medical equipment sterilization company stepped in big at the beginning of the pandemic, transitioning its operations to sterilize N95 masks and send them out to medical providers. But Challenger said that while the medical industry as a whole has been buried with work throughout the pandemic, Really, COVID-19 has changed the revenue models for these organizations. Uh, they uh, are not uh, operating as heavily in some of their highest revenue producing products in their services, and that's causing medical industry companies to have to change some of their personnel. Now, Challenger cautions that these reports can be very volatile from month to month. The Illinois Department of Commerce said that August's report was a vast improvement over July, but warns that this is just a snapshot of the anticipated layoffs across the state. In the loop, Megan Hickey, CBS2 Investigators.